Yo, what's going on guys? And today I wanted to talk about DeAndre Aiden going to the Detroit Pistons. So as more and more time passes and I follow my insiders, it looks like it's pretty apparent that our man, DeAndre Aiden, is leaving the Phoenix Suns. So I want to hear your thoughts down below. Do you guys like the idea of the Detroit Pistons? Let's talk about it. Shout out John Hollinger and James L. Edwards III for this article that influence this video i always want to give my sources and attributions so let's get right into it now over the last few weeks it's been hinted as a storyline that i think is pretty interested the soon to be free agent the 24 year old big man the former number one overall pick in the 2018 draft enters restricted free agency after arguably having a disappointing end to the postseason and sources have told the athletic that it's more likely than not that aiden's play somewhere else other than phoenix next season i want to hear your thoughts down below what team would you want him to go the other team besides the pistons we can make a video on this if you guys do want to hear it the spurs because yoke Pertle is somebody i think the Suns would be willing you know to do a sign and trade for maybe they could throw in lonnie walker or romeo langford and a few other players i die i die i digress i don't know why i struggled right there but either way kate cunningham is the franchise cornerstone. So let's get right into it. So it is believed that the Suns are gonna work out a sign and trade with someone. And for whatever reason, I think Phoenix is totally comfortable going forward with him on big money. And I think Aiden might be okay going somewhere else if he has a bigger offensive role. I think he wants to be, you know, a franchise cornerstone. He's viewed as the third guy, arguably the fourth guy, if you put Mikhail Bridges in front of him. And the thing is, is Aiden doesn't get a ton of sleep because he's playing video games all night, allegedly. That is something people have said. Supposedly, DeAndre Aiden plays video games all night and doesn't sleep much. Are those concerns a bit overblown? Or is that something that people are actually hesitant about him? And now look, I don't see the problem with him. I think he's a good player. Now, the Pistons will do their due diligence. And if the price is right to be landing in services, I think they'll do it. Because I like the fit. And... They need a high level of talent to compete at the next level. Kate Cunningham is part of that solution. The fifth pick, whoever it will be, I think it's Shade on Sharp, is going to help them. And I think if you look at Aiden as a restricted free agent, even if Phoenix is reluctant to bring him back, the Suns are better off matching any offer sheet rather than leave, letting him leave for nothing. On the other hand, a return in a sign and trade could reshape their roster in a way that keeps them below the luxury tax line and still allows them to be competitive for another few years. And we can all assume that. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to say that Jeremy Grant would be going to the Suns in this deal. And I could see, look, Aiden could go to Portland or San Antonio. Portland, it would probably center around Josh Hart or or the trade exception. They have that $21 million trade exception. So they could keep Josh Hart and then the Suns could just free up cap space. So keep out Portland because they could also send them the seventh overall pick in that deal. San Antonio could send them the ninth, the 20th, and the 25th as I wouldn't, they wouldn't send all of those. But look, here we go. So if the Suns do do a sign and trade and Aiden leaves because they have no means to replace him otherwise, they can only take back $18.9 million and grants $20.9 million. So if you look at the Pistons roster as it currently is, it gives you an idea of who they could trade, okay? Because I personally think the best guy for them right now, in my opinion, Kelly Olynyk. Kelly Olynyk. I'm, I'm telling you guys. And his deal arguably like doesn't become fully guaranteed for the following year. So the, it's really a one-year deal. You have Kelly Olynyk, Okay. And that's kind of a, in my opinion, keep Kelly Olynyk for a year. You saw how Frank Kaminsky and Dario Saric had some positive impacts. I think Kelly Olynyk could do the same thing. And then the following year, his deal's only guaranteed for $3 million. You cut him and you save $9 million. So Kelly Olenek, and then they would probably have to package, would they package, you know, Diallo, Diallo, Olenek, and Grant for Aiden? Maybe throw in a pick? What do you guys think? Do you like that? I think that's a, a decent deal. But the other thing is the benefit of Detroit being able to make this trade is also, you know, having all the players because they could pick up the options of Frank Jackson, and Luke. Luca Garza and Carson Edwards spend $25 million or so in free agency when they're done shopping operate as an above a cap team and conduct a sign and trade of Jeremy Grant, Frank Jackson, Luca Garza, Carson Edwards for DeAndre Aiden and Torrey Craig. 
And that way, you attach probably like a first round pick, a future first round pick. And I think as for Grant, he fits. I think he's a good fit. He's not as good as Aiden. I know it's a little tough. He'll probably have to put up Mikhail Bridges or Jeremy Grant at small forward and the other one at power forward. And Phoenix does have a hole in their roster where they lack big wings. And we saw that in the Dallas series. And I think Grant, you know, I know he's a little overrated, but he's the perfect fourth option on an elite team. And he fits nicely on the roster. And he gives them kind of, you know, the ability to put Jay Crowder at the five, then go Mikhail Bridges, Jeremy Grant, Devin Booker, and Chris Paul. Kind of like that. And I really like the idea of the Frank Jackson, Luca Garza, Carson Edwards, and Jeremy Grant for Torrey Craig and DeAndre Aiden because Torrey Craig would also help them. And the thing is, is that the Pistons have a good amount of cap space. So what if they get Jalen Brunson and DeAndre Aiden? Okay. And I know that's not going to happen because it appears Jalen Brunson is going to New York or staying in Dallas. And I don't see Detroit pursuing Miles Bridges given the price he's commanding. And the verdict's out on Aiden. And I think, look, I love how Isaiah Stewart ended the season. Sadiq Bey is a beast. Cade Cunningham is the face of the franchise. And look, DeAndre Aiden would help Detroit's big push in the standings. And imagine Cunningham, Bay, Stewart all together, and then DeAndre Aiden plus the fifth pick of the draft. And turning Grant into Aiden, I think, helps them because Grant's an expiring deal and his value will never be higher. And he's going, he's wanting to get a salary that might be out of line with his actual standing in the league. And Detroit's cap situation is actually clean that a max salary acquisition this season wouldn't block them from doing it again. Cunningham is the only player guaranteed for making more than $10, $10 million in 2023 to 2024. I really think this would be the best deal for them. Plus DeAndre Aiden, I think he wouldn't mind it.